Suppose I want to add the fractions 2 fifths and the fraction 3 tenths. The picture on the left represents 2 fifths because I have 1, 2 pieces out of a total of 5 shaded in. And on the right I have 1, 2, 3 pieces out of a total of 10. So because we're doing addition, many people are inclined to just add these numerators together, add together the 2 and the 3. And what would that actually mean if I were to add them together? And if we think about it, it's not very much because here I have two pieces, but they're a bigger size, and here I have three pieces, so they're a smaller size. If I'm adding pieces that aren't the same size, then it's not going to make a lot of sense in my answer. So if we can't just add denominators, what do we do? And the answer is we're going to need pieces that are the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this in half, and now you'll see I've broken up the one on the left into 10 pieces as well. By chopping the one in the left in half, I've doubled the number of pieces that I have in blue, my shaded pieces, but I've doubled my overall pieces as well. Now I have a total of four shaded pieces out of 10 pieces in total. And I have three out of 10 over here. In other words, what I needed to do is find a common denominator. These both now have a denominator of 10. And I did that by multiplying the top by 2, because I chopped it in, uh, into twice as many pieces. And I did the, that to the top and to the bottom. So now that I have 10th size pieces on the left and on the right, I'm adding up the same thing. So I can just put them together. And I have a total of 4 plus 3, or 7 tenths. 7 10 side pieces. So make sure you find a common denominator first, then add the numerators. And the denominator will simply stay the same as the common denominator you found between them. Thank you very much.